What's up guys? Welcome to the WT Sports Network here on GoBuffsGo.com. Zach Barnes here with another edition of Heard That. This last Saturday, WT Football went on a road trip to Portales, New Mexico, where they took on the Greyhounds of Eastern New Mexico for the wagon wheel. There, the Buffs ended up losing 39-30, where turnovers ended up being costly for the Buffs. Well, the first thing is you gotta have you gotta run more than 22 plays. You can't you can't have a turnover on a kickoff return. You can't have a fumble on a first and uh, 10 play or second and 10 play for 22 yards. This week, the Buffs look forward to returning home, where they will see Texas A&M Kingsville in the homecoming game. Uh, you know, Kingsville right now, I tell you, they're 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 the best one and three football team in America right now. They really are. Uh, I uh, get really talented. Uh, they've done a great job of upgrading their talent from the last two or three years. To me, they look like a commerce, I mean, a Kingsville team that's probably 89, 90, 91, 92-ish type deal. Got three really good tailbacks, a huge offensive line. Their secondary is playing all-man coverage, and they're really active. And so, um, to me, they look like an 89 team. You know, they really do. You know, like a Richard Cundiff, you know, harms type build team. I mean, they look really good right now. Well, I think, it's, I think it helps, you know, big time. I mean, you're going to have a great crowd. You should have a good crowd there this weekend. Everybody comes back. It's a 5 o'clock kick, so it's nice and early. Everybody can get in, watch the game, and get home and, and have a Saturday night at the house. And so uh, I think that's, that's always good. And then the players, you know, the players always have a lot of family and friends that come back. And then we have, you know, like I know Taylor Harris is coming back to town. Him and Dustin Bond are driving in together. They texted me this morning. And so... Um, you know, Carl Johnson was here yesterday, and we'll have a bunch of different guys around that, you know, usually this is the game they all kind of come back to see. Lady Buff Volleyball with a successful week through the past week. First, they saw a UT Permian Basin on last Tuesday, where they ended up winning that one in a five-set thriller down in the Falcon Dome. And after the road trip on Tuesday, the Lady Buffs returned home for a Friday-Saturday home games against Western New Mexico and Eastern New Mexico. After the trip to Odessa, the Lady Buffs returned to home for Friday-Saturday games against Western New Mexico and Eastern New Mexico. Throughout the weekend, the Lady Buffs ended up getting their first back-to-back -back sweeps of the season, beating both the Mustangs and the Greyhounds 3-0. Permian's very good defensively, and again, we, we, we carry a big name. So, well, I knew Tuesday was coming. I was wanting to be wrong. So, um, but we came back against Western New Mexico. They're a big team, we did good, and against Eastern we did good, and so I told the girls, I'm like, you know, I really don't care how, how people feel, their opinions, or what the crowd thinks, but our crowd is pretty smart, and it was sort of anticlimactic at the matches. We have, we have a big chance, uh, we have a big lead, we have a chance to win big, and I you know, just wanted the girls to sort of reward themselves and really show that they get it, because this is how we've had some of the losses, where we think we have it won, and we start laying it off. So, uh, half of our errors in each of those sets came with us only needing seven points or less. So it just shows like they're, they're developing, but they got to learn how to finish it off. Up next for the Lady Buffs on Friday, they'll see Texas A&M Kingsville at Texas A&M Kingsville, followed by a trip to San Antonio, where they'll see Arkansas Fort Smith. And then on Tuesday, the Lady Buffs will host a home game against Lubbock Christian. Kingsville and Fort Smith are two different animals. They're like Carlton. They're very big, big, very athletic. And Kingsville does what we do very well, what Eastern does very well, and what Angel and Carlton do very well. They play much better at home in a way. So um, we're, we're going to focus on that hard this week. Buffalo soccer starting off with a home stretch this last weekend, seeing Lubbock Christian in UT Permian Basin. First on Thursday, the Buffs ended up with a 2-1 to one win over the Shaps of Lubbock Christian. And then on Saturday, despite 36 shots, the Buffs ended up tying in a 0-0 score with UT Permian Basin. Well, what I take away from the weekend is you have to score goals to win games. And, uh, you know, we did that on Thursday night, and we absolutely commanded the game on Saturday, and for some reason um, we couldn't buy a goal, and we had 36 chances on goal, and they had 12 saves, and I think our goalkeeper had two saves. So. Um, as much as, you know, we'll take the tie and walk away and, and all the positive things, it still kind of tastes like, in my mouth, it kind of tastes like a loss a little bit. Coming up next for the Buffs, they will see Rogers State on Thursday, and on Saturday they will see Newman. So, of course, be sure to check those games out at the pitch. And, of course, you can see live stats and streaming on GoBuscoe.com. Well, both teams are a bit on a roll right now. Uh, Rogers, I think, has won three games in a row, <coughs> and Newman has won. 
think two or three is well in the road. They're, both teams are playing well at the time. Um, the good thing is I'm glad I don't have to go there and play. They've been very good on, at home, where both teams have not been so good on the road. <clears throat> so that, hopefully that's a little bit of an advantage for us. But um, Rogers is a completely new opponent. We've never played them before, um, so we're a little bit in the dark. So we're you know gathering information on them right now and uh, trying to get an idea of what we're up against. Um, Newman, we've played in the past some. Um, scrappy, hardworking team usually. Um, so it, it's going to be what I th what I think it's going to be is two very blue collar type of games. You know, very physical, hardworking, um, high intensity type of matches, and uh, that's kind of what we're we're preparing for. Lady Buff Soccer was also home this last weekend. They saw Angelo State in UT Permian Basin. First on Friday, Lady Buffs and the Ram Bells of Angelo State with a scoreless first half. Where in the second half, both teams combined for three goals, where the Ram Bells ended up with a 2-1 to one win over the Lady Buffs. Then on Sunday, Lady Buffs started fast, getting the only goal of the game early on within the first 10 minutes. And then after that, both teams struggled to really get any shots on. Up next for the Lady Buffs, they'll actually have a home game tonight against Eastern New Mexico, so be sure to go out to the pitch and watch that one. And after that, the Lady Buffs will head to Midwestern State. This last week, women's cross country made a trip up to Denver for the MSU Denver Invitational, where the Lady Buffs took an overall fourth place. Kristen Elizalde with a top finish for the Lady Buffs, giving the Lady Buffs 14 points. Um, I was super excited to take this uh, young group up to the altitude and see how they handle the teams in the region. Um, Probably not as many teams from the region as I had originally expected, but still felt like we had a great showing and uh, definitely learned some things that we need to tweak for uh, 6Ks in the future, uh, especially at the altitude level. But definitely proud of the fourth place finish, and uh, we'll just uh, critique that and, and keep moving forward. Up next for the Lady Buffs, they'll get to race at home on Friday afternoon at 5 o'clock. So come out to the Buffalo Stampede and watch the women race as well as some of the guys. Men's cross country will be splitting up this weekend. Some of the guys will be here at the Buffalo Stampede at 5.30, and then some of the other guys will be going to Fort Hayes. It's just kind of a tune-up meet for us. Uh, it'll be our last 6K before we go into conference. Uh, mostly, I'm excited just for them to have two 6Ks under their belt before we go to the conference meet. Um, that experience brings confidence, and so uh, when they step on the line at conference, I think they'll be really ready to go. WT Equestrian with their first action of the season on Saturday and Sunday. They went down to Gainesville, Texas, where on Saturday and Sunday they finished first in both of the days, and Maggie Lanham ended up as High Point Rider of the weekend. The next competition for WT Equestrian will be the 8th and 9th of October, where they all go back to Gainesville. Men's Golf Monday and Tuesday participating in the Newman Invitational, and Newman the Buffs ended up with a third place finish as a team. Ted McVay for WT ended up with the fifth best score with 218. Up next for the Buffs, they'll head to Wichita Falls for the Midwestern State Invitational on the 17th and 18th. Also, Lady Buff Golf on Monday and Tuesday got to play at home where they ended up finishing third overall. Kate Millholland with a team best with the score of 155 through the two rounds. Well, you know, we wanted to win, obviously, and especially with the first, the top two teams, we wanted to beat them, but, you know, we're a little bit young, and we definitely have some things to learn, and, you know, we had lots of good holes, but unfortunately, our, our errant shots were very errant, and our putting, we just, you know, there's that saying, you drive for show and putt for go, and we did not putt as well as we should have, so... We lost some strokes on that, but overall, you know, I'm pleased with how the season's going so far. We're showing a lot of promise. Up next for the Lady Buffs, they'll go to the Bing Beal Fall Classic in Philly, Ohio, where they will see a national preview before taking off into the spring. Folks, thank you for joining us this week on Heard That. Be sure to keep up with your favorite sports on GoBuffsGo.com and, of course, live stats and live streaming of every game. For the WT Sports Network, I'm Zach Barnes, and we'll see you next Wednesday.